All right, today is August 5th, 2023, and today we're in Logan, Ohio. We're here for the Bigfoot Festival, and we stopped here, and this is the Stagecoach Inn 225, and it is a beautiful building. Nice way to start off the Bigfoot Festival. And it does say circa 1867. Beautiful building. And this is coming into Main Street in Logan, Ohio. And this is some traffic that's backed up, ready for the Bigfoot Festival. All right, I'm Michael and this is Jenny. And this is Michael and Jenny on YouTube. And we're here to see the Bigfoot Festival in Logan, Ohio. All right, so come along. And as soon as you enter town, they have Bigfoot souvenir and gifts, keychains, toys, t-shirts, towels, jewelry, blankets, glassware, figures, and more. And that is 26776 US Highway 33, Rock Bridge, Ohio. Very nice. And we have Believe at the Logan Theater. Yeah. And this is East Main Street. And this is a good view of the crowd for the Bigfoot Festival. Almost 12. Almost 12 o'clock. And we are here, Hawking Hills Bigfoot Festival, home of Ohio Bigfoot. And this gives you a good size of the crowd. Last year it was a little bit rainy, and I have to say it looks like there's a lot more people here at the Bigfoot Festival. And this is a Bigfoot cast here. It says in October of 1967, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin filmed an encounter with Bigfoot along Bluff Creek in Northern California. And it actually has 14.5 inch footprints. And that is my hand with the footprint. <laughs> Huge footprint. And this looks to be Jeffrey R. Thomas, The Shadow, and Steve. And this is at the Bigfoot Festival in Hawking Hills. And we have Steve here, and he has a Bigfoot tattoo. Yeah. All right, thank you, Steve. Yeah, there's my info. All right. And we have some more cast here. And this is Knox County, Ohio, 2013. People everywhere. <laughs> Gets around, Bigfoot does. <laughs> and they have Bigfoot stands here with a Bigfoot as its base. And then they have the Bigfoot itself on the foot. And these are $20 a piece. And they have another one over here that Bigfoot is actually standing upright. And this is Wild Bill signing an autograph for the fans. Very nice to see. And we're at a booth here, Wild and Weird, West Virginia, cryptid and UFO artwork. And this is some of the items they have at the booth. They sell them. And they do have Mothman. And they have a little sign out here that says, Did you know Bigfoot can be as tall as 15 feet tall? Actually, I did not know that. And this is for Tanner Squatch here. And we have in loving memory of Tanner Michael Wade. And they have a dad, a mom, a baby, preemie, and keychains. And this is what they are here. Very well done. It's really cool. And the mom squatch is thirty dollars. Mama. Mama. And they do have a little bit of eye decoration going on. Very nice. And Jenny really likes this one. Very pretty. Very soft. Very nice. Very well done. And they do have a bigger one. This is a pretty good size one. They are heavy. And they're pretty heavy too. 
Very nice. That's XL? Yeah. And they have $5 magnets oh, that's, at I the like booth that as well. I honestly, I like that one a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. And they have a large 3D Bigfoot. And you can actually see the detail in this. The force within the Bigfoot itself. And the large is $50 and the small is $35. And uh, I really like this. This is nice. Never seen. Something a little different, mm -hmm. for sure. And we have a booth here that is laurelspringsfarm.com. And we have a booth here. It's called Bigfoot Pottery. And it says Mudworks Pottery and Corp. And I want to take a little closer look. Look at this. It's super and there is Bigfoot. It's so cute. Within the bow. It's only $10. And that is $10. <laughs> and this is $55. The collars and the decoration of the pottery is absolutely beautiful. One of our favorite places to come to. The Bigfoot Festival. And they have beautiful mugs here as well. And the mugs look to be about $25. And they have a cutting board here and Bigfoot is blowing some bubbles. And that is $30. And I must say they've taken the wood carving up a notch this year. And we have Bigfoot saw me, but nobody believes him. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a little overview of the crowd here, and that is the Hawking County Courthouse in the background. And even though we're at the Bigfoot Festival, they do have Mothman t-shirts, which me and Jenny, we both have our Mothman t-shirt on today. Mothman believes in you. And it says Mothman believes in you. And this is a t-shirt of Bigfoot. And I have a feeling that if I seen Bigfoot in real life, this is what we would be seeing. Real pictures. Maybe a real real picture here. <laughs> and this is the paranormal road tripper. And they have a lot of different types of shirts here. And the price looks to be about $20. Size matters not. And support the troops. And I always like these t-shirts at this booth when we come here. The Overlook Hotel. And we even have a little bit of Jason at the bottom here. And I have to agree, clowns are not funny. They're quite terrifying. And they have more cast of Bigfoot from $25 to $35. Some of the famous Bigfoot foot casts have been discovered all over the United States. And the recast of the most famous ones, you're saying? are indeed. Yes, yes. Like very this, nice. This actually, this is a left and a right from the famous oh, Patterson yeah. Gimlin oh, okay. site, yeah. which is kind of some iconic footage. It was recorded Bigfoot back in October of 67. 1967, 1967. yeah. $25. Mm -hmm. And apparently Bigfoot knocks in the woods and they have a wild man tree knocker. And this is how they would be able to communicate with Bigfoot out in the woods and the wood knocker is ten dollars pretty good size and they have the flatwoods monster and we're gonna go soon to check out the museum and this booth here they have a Christmas tree decorated all in Bigfoot 2023 Hawking Hills Bigfoot Festival. Uh -huh. Beautiful ornament. Thank you. And it actually said crafted by Mix Monster Shop. And we're in Mix Monster Booth. 
and they have a lot of woodwork here. Cutting boards, signs, and it says, I'm not lost, just looking for Bigfoot. Welcome to the Bigfoot's home. And this one says, welcome to Bigfoot's home. And one of my favorite ones is, I'm done adulting, let's go find Bigfoot. And we have some really good metal work here of Bigfoot. And right below, at the kneecap of Bigfoot, we have a little alien. And this looks to be $70. And the smaller one is $40. And I have to say, these are very, very nice. Very cute. And if I'm not mistaken, the big Bigfoot is about $1,100. But uh, very well done. All right, we did a video last year here at Hawking Hills, mm -hmm. and uh, we had somebody come up to us just about five minutes ago and say the reason they're here is because they seen the video and they want to come enjoy. So that is that is wonderful. very very nice. That's <laughs> wonderful. All right, let's get back to the Bigfoot Festival. Okay. And we have metal signs here, and we have hide and seek champion which I always like the hide and seek champion signs and then they got believe for $30 and then beware Bigfoot area. I do a lot of hiking. I, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm a Bigfoot. Uh, I, I don't believe in Bigfoot, but I think Jenny does. But anytime I go hiking, I start to wander a little bit more and we love to go hiking. You will believe in Bigfoot when you're in, in your woods. You yeah, feel. when you're in the woods, yes. yeah, it feels a little bit more Bigfooty. You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it, Jenny says. I want to consider that. And nothing better than seeing Bigfoot support the U.S. of A. Which we need more of. And one of the nicest things I've seen in a long time, we have the Bigfoot campfire set, $175. And this is pretty nice. And then they have the big Bigfoot, 120, 110 for the mom, and then $90. I really like the Bigfoot campfire set. And they also have a Bigfoot table, $100, and it has the feet for the table to stand up on. And there are some more t-shirts here, and these are very colorful and decorative. Don't stop believing and Mountain Dude. And we have some really pretty doggies. <laughs> Hello. And when we go to small towns, we actually take a look at the churches and the architecture. And I remember this church from last year. And I have to say, it's one of the most pretty churches we've actually seen. And the second floor up top there. So neat. And this is a little overview of the festival on Market Street. And today they're going to have a Squatch and Seek and the vendors are open and a Mojo Jeep show. And they do have live music as well and plenty of food. And like I said, they have live music here. And this year, Eddie has some overalls on. And they have Bigfoot decorated in all different types of decorations. And we have Bigfoot Pillow Pal, $12, and then Mini Monster Plush, $5. And then they also have the Fresno Night Crawler, $15. And of course, one of my favorite, the Mothman. And Mothman is $20. And somehow they know Bigfoot loves blackberry tea. We have in common, baby. What's that? Me and Bigfoot. Oh, you got in common, yeah. Well, Jenny and Bigfoot have something in common. Match. She loves blackberry tea. 
And this is a pup and a cup tea company. And Jenny found a bag that she really likes with all the cryptids on it. It's everything you need. There's the Mothman, the Flatwoods Monster. And we have Bigfoot. Clara. And the bag is $30. And you can get a lot of stuff in there. Pretty good sized bag. Jenny likes it. <laughs> and we have Seymour's Captive Cryptids. Yes. And they have Mask. All right, y'all make the mask yourself. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Very detailed. Very nice. And this is Corey and Renee Seymour. And this is the Hocking Hills Frozen Yogurt Company. They have cookie dough, stuffed slushies, milkshakes. Very nice place. And they have step one, grab a cup. Step two, fill it up. Step three, top it off. Step four, weigh and pay. And it has what yogurt you're actually getting by pulling the lever. Very nice setup. And we have a Bigfoot who is a motorcyclist taking pictures with all the people at the festival. And it looks like Bigfoot rides a Harley. And they have River's Edge products here and this is a fish for sandals. And then they also have a Bigfoot sandal. Pretty interesting to see. I really like the fish sandals. And they have a Bigfoot stick here, a walking stick. Very impressive. And we have Bigfoot here in a predicament. It says, well, crap. And it looks as though he's out of toilet paper. And it's very decorative, Bigfoot soap. And they have Bigfoot soap here. Beard oil, $15. Beard Balm, 15 or 2 for 25 And you can see the detail of the face quite well. And this says, not all who wander are lost. And they do have the Bumble. And Jenny loves the Bumble from Rudolph. Always scared me as a kid. Still a little scared. And we have the Funny Face Art Company. And uh, looks like we got the Shroot Farms. Let's play music and walk around. And two little aliens are gone now. Got separated. Somebody bought them up. And they have Hocus Pocus. Anytime I see Hocus Pocus anything, I try to put it on film. I really like the movie. And I'm really uh, waiting for Halloween to kick in now. Probably my favorite time of the year. So early, happy Halloween. And we have a little hockey Bigfoot. And it says Athens Bobcats. Might try to get over and see Joe Burrow's place sometime soon again. And they have Hawking Hills Bigfoot Stuffy, $15 each. Yeah, and they have uh, fly swatters here, $8 each. And uh, we have something similar to this at home. And they do have in the leather Bigfoot, which I really like our fly swatter with the wood handle. And as far as food goes, they do have Smith's Sausage, established in 1886, German Village, Ohio. And they also do have barbecue, pulled pork, chicken, pretty much anything you'd want at a festival. And Jenny really likes the Smith's logo here, established in 1886. Very cute. Never seen it before. I don't think I have either. And one of the stores that Jenny always goes into is Homegrown on Main. She really enjoys this store. So we'll go ahead and take a look. And they have Bigfoot with Moon, $45. And these little decor items here, they actually light up. 
and the detail is superb. And they have Bigfoot is here, and these are magnets. Of Bigfoot. And they do have a little historical information about Logan, Ohio. It was established in 1818. And then this is where we're at, the Hawking Hills Bigfoot Festival. And it is August 4th through the 5th, 2023. Logan, Ohio looks to be 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it does say home of Ohio Bigfoot. And I must say, they have a lot of vendors, a lot of food, music, games, and uh, it's actually, it feels like it's a little bit larger. It may be just due to the weather, but it feels larger this year. It's really nice. Well done. So this is a little overview of this shop, and there are 90 local artists, and they put their crafts in this particular shop. And they're all Hawking Hills artists. And this is another section of the shop. And they have bracelets. And Jenny just bought her a bracelet. But uh, hers is silver. How cute is this? These are a little bit more decorative. <laughs> and that's Jenny's bracelet. And they have handcrafted ink pens. It looks to be by Ray Wolf. And the detail is amazing. And that's a clock on a pin. I mean, that's insane. Look at these ones. Wow. These are beautiful pins. And we have Gorilla Skull Productions. And they have masks here for $15. And this says Gorilla Skull Productions, and it has horror mask and decor. And it is the art of Christopher Dillon. And they have another vendor here with the food. It says Knights of the Kitchen Table dot square dot site. And they actually have a knight over there with a sword. And this is Knights of the Kitchen Table. And this is the Unsung Salvage Design Company, Hamilton, Ohio. And they have some of the best t-shirts at the festival. And they got the Cincinnati Bengals. And it says Hawking Hills Bigfoot Festival. And it looks like the Cincinnati Reds And this year, Bigfoot is dressed up like Elvis Presley. Looking pretty good. And this is the Unsung T-Shirt Company. And you can see the actual pattern of Bigfoot. And they have a shirt that says, Man or Beast, Weird, Terrifying, Unbelievable, Bigfoot Lives. And a little tribute to Pee Wee Herman. A lot of childhood memories there. Large Marge scared me. I'd always go into the kitchen and uh, actually uh, not watch that part. It was so terrifying. Okay, we made it through Main Street and looked at most of the booths. Uh -huh. It would take a very long time to go through every single one of them. Try to hit as many as we could for sure. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go take a look at some Jeeps now. I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, so let's go look at some Jeeps. And we got Bigfoot playing with some children out here. I think Bigfoot's more scared of the kids. And Jenny darted into another little store. I noticed this, it says, we believe, and it has Cincinnati Bengals. I do believe in the Cincinnati Bengals. 
And I must say it is a very laid back community here at Logan, Ohio. And it looks like they have a big inflatable Bigfoot. And it says, I am home. And this is the Earthly Pottery Company. And they have an old Volkswagen bug out here. And this is some of the pottery here. And you can actually take a class at the Earthly Pottery Company. And one of my favorite things to look at, I love classical cars, but they have a Jeep Squatch here. So we got Papa Squatch with our Jeep here. And they have, please do not feed the Sasquatch, and they have Bigfoot knowledge. And so we have Bigfoot. It looks almost like eight feet tall there, and a human six feet tall on average. A gorilla is about five foot tall. And they have a Bigfoot in the back here, hanging out. And some of the 10 weird facts you never knew about Bigfoot. There are at least 12 different kinds of Bigfoot just in the United States. Bigfoot legends go back at least 3,000 years. And uh, one of those facts that I find interesting, Bigfoot likes apples. Quite interesting. And here's an overview of some of the Jeeps they have here. And I really do like coming and looking at the Jeeps. They put little details on each Jeep. And they have a little duck or a little sticker of Bigfoot somewhere. It's very nice. And this Jeep has the bumble on it. And one thing I like about it is the details and the mirror. They have a print here and then they have Bigfoot. And also in the window, a little detail of Bigfoot. And they have the hood up on this Jeep here. And this is a turbo diesel. So we'll take a good close look at that engine. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah, sharp. And I'll start it up for us. And look at the little duck there. And this says gorgeous. And look at the detail right here. This is the kind of stuff I like about these Jeeps here. There's always something that sticks out. And this says Squatch In. And we have Bigfoot on the grill here. And I do believe I remember this one from last year. And this says 2023 Hawking second place. And that's the festival Jeep show. And we have the Jester, and they have all their ducks lined up in a row. It's a lot of ducks. <laughs> all right, that was the Bigfoot Festival in Logan, Ohio. Hope you enjoyed that. It's one of the best festivals we've been to in a very long time. So if you don't mind, please subscribe, leave comments, ring the bell, whatever you like to do there. And most of all, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> And this was the Jeep Show, Hawking Hills Bigfoot Festival, Mid-Ohio Jeepers Organization. And we decided to get us a lemonade at Leah's Flavored Lemonade Shakeups, bursting with flavor. And they have lemon aid, and it looks like somebody needs some aid, and the lemons are taking care of it. All right, we got our lemonade, and that should do it for the Bigfoot Festival in Logan, Ohio.